Well, welcome to Louisville, Kentucky for the 2021 NWSL Championship. It is the Washington Spirit versus the Chicago Red Stars coming up at the top of the hour. And by the end of the day, we'll have crowned a new NWSL champion as both sides are on the hunt for their first ever league title. But for now, welcome into Lynn Family Stadium, home of our pregame coverage, sponsored by Ally. I'm your host, Lori Lindsay, and for the next 30 minutes, you are going to want to stick around with us because we have predictions, we have interviews, we have game analysis, and we also have two of my best friends on this set today, World Cup champions, Orlando Pride superstars. Here we are, Ashton Harris, world-class goalkeeper, Ali Krieger, world-class defender. Welcome. Look at you two. <laughs> so fancy, as I expected. How are we doing today? So good. We're so excited to be here and get this thing started and uh, see who's going to be the new crown champion. This is such a good atmosphere. I'm so excited for the game. Yeah, it certainly is. And we're lucky to have you here. And before we get going and get serious, let's take care of a little bit of some of the ground rules, right? I'm in this seat for a reason. You two are <laughs> over there. We know you have the gift for Gab. So when I say wrap it up, you wrap it up, OK? That's our time. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's our cue. That's our cue. Awesome. Perfect. OK. Big matchup today. We have Washington Spirit. We have the Chicago Red Stars. Not sure. Not so sure that either, many people expected these two teams here, but here we are. And you two played in some really big games in your careers. Ash, you in particular. This will be the biggest game for some of these players. What is the mindset? What is the emotion around this game? You know, all the preparation and hard work has been done. You know, this is the moment to go out there with freedom and poise and, and, and do your job. And that's what it's going to boil down to is who shows up today. And just like you said, you know, the, this the beauty of this league is anyone can be in this match today. Yes. And that's what makes our league the best in the world. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, this is going to be such a great matchup. Obviously, it's a surprise uh, to some of us that, yep. you know, these two teams are are in this game. But just like Ash said, this is the preparation that you you plan for the entire season and that these players are ready for this moment. You have a young Washington team who are just kind of thrown into this match, but that's what's so exciting. And I think that is what's going to get them to this level today um, to be prepared and to just have that willingness to want to win. And then you have Chicago who have been in this position before. So it's going to be exciting to see both of those matchups uh, today. Yeah, and it is a great point because it is youth versus experience, right? North, or excuse me, Chicago has been here the last two um, major events in the last two years. So we'll see if they can get it done. But then you also have this Washington team that's been really resilient, even though despite their youth, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. It, and as we said, not expecting many of these um, or these two teams to get here. So let's take a look at how they got here. Yeah. All right, so both of you had vital experience playing against these two teams this season. For the Washington Spirit, Trinity Rodman been a bright spot for this young team. What do you like about her coming into this game, Al? She's been such an impact player for DC, and we know that she was really young and being drafted and into put into the squad, but she proves her worth every single chance she gets, week in and week out. She's very dynamic. She can play out wide. She can play up top. Um, she can play in the 10 if you want her to play there because she She's a finisher. She's a goal scorer. She she puts herself in situations and gets into spaces to really create and to impact and, and help the team win. And, and that is what team every team in this league really need. Yeah, and then Ashford, Cassie Miller, the goalkeeper for the Chicago Red Stars. What does she have to do to make sure she keeps Trinity Rodman off the board today? You know, honestly, Cassie Miller is going to be the biggest question mark for me on the experience side of a Chicago team, right? So, you know, filling the shoes of uh, Alyssa Nair is not easy at all, but she's stepped up. She's performed. She's led her team into this final spot. And honestly, I think this game is going to boil down to what goalkeeper is going to make those game-changing saves. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited excited to see it. Yeah, certainly. And then for Chicago, Mal Pugh back in the starting lineup here today after missing the semifinals. Huge instrumental piece to the Chicago team and why they're in the final. Al, what do you like about Mal Pugh and what she can bring? She, We've played with her, obviously, with the national team, and she's come into her own. I feel like this season she's really proving why she deserves to play here, uh, be in this final, but also be at the next level. And it's that consistency for me. I feel like this season she's really rolled, rolled her sleeves up. She's performed well. She's done what the coaches have asked of her, and that is to make the impact week in and week out. Carried the team, um, just like last game. Unfortunately, in the semifinals, she wasn't able to play, but the team was able to get the win, move into those finals, and now 
it's her opportunity to perform and to make an impact today in order for them to win the championship. Yeah, and she certainly has a ton of weapons, one of those being getting in behind, playing more vertical. That will be something that the Washington Spirit Goalkeeper of the Year, Aubrey Bledsoe, will want to keep an eye on. Absolutely, and Aubrey's uh, had an incredible year, and her consistency over the years has just improved and improved and improved, and she's gotten looks at the uh, international stage, and I think she's going to bring all that experience and leadership into this game and uh, show up for her team. You know, she's been a, a fantastic goalkeeper for D.C., and she's been a brick wall, so I'm excited to see what she does today. Yeah, let's head over to uh, Marissa Pilla. She's standing by with Chicago defender Sarah Gordon. All right, you two, things are totally heating up here in the stadium. We love it. Fans are starting to trickle in. And this is the support that you want from for, for this entire league, right? Because, I mean, I think we can all agree that this has been, to say the least, a wild ride. It has been a wild season. Yep, yes, challenging, absolutely. to say the least. And not only has it been the longest season in, in this league's existence, but we've also had firings of coaches because of abuse but we've also had the most competitive right we've had it came down to the very last day for it, the playoffs to see who was going to make it in North Carolina sneaks in so one of the most competitive why do you feel that is the case Ash you know that I, I do think this is what makes the league the best in the world is every single week presents different challenges every week is a just a war against each other and and you don't get that in most leagues across the world so i i do think that is what separates the nwsl from everywhere else in in, in the country um the parody is just insane everyone is so good but i think you know this year what's been not only challenging like you said but it's an olympic year right so so many international players are in and out so it's really about your team Team connecting and incorporating those players back into starting lineups and whoever just took it and ran with momentum at the right time is what you're seeing right now. That's why so many surprises are coming out of this year's uh, playoff run. Yeah, and you, you talk about the depth. I think that's really important. We, we talk about Mal Pugh getting the start here today. Didn't play in the semifinals. Her team got it done. Now it comes back into the starting lineup to pose a huge threat. Um, you know, Al, just looking at this, this season too, seeing the support, players like yourself have stepped up, used their platform. What does it mean to have this support? We're expecting 11,000 fans here today or close to it, right? Yeah, as a player, it's really important to feel that, to feel that appreciation, that value, that passion that everyone feels for the love of the game that we do each and every week. Um, that's why we play, and that's why we continue to play even at our age. We, we just love it so much, and we're so happy to see that these 11,000 fans here, but also fans and supporters around the country supporting the NWSL, even if it's not in your city, you have people flying into games, and you have people who care, and, and they have their uh, support online as well. But it's really important to keep us going because because we love this so much, we want this league to survive. And without that support, it wouldn't be anything. So us as players, we can only do so much, but then with the support of you know people here and the supporters and, the, and fans around the league, it's so healthy and important to create that positivity, that passion, um, and that makes us more excited and motivated to play at the highest level. Yeah, certainly. And so some special moments this year. Let's take a look at some of those and what they look like. Off, uh, Jess Fishlock finally getting the recognition that she deserves. Nine seasons in this league, MVP this year. Absolutely, one of the best midfielders in this league. And what I love so much about Jess Fishlock is her box to box attacking and defending play. I mean, one minute she's saving balls off of her own back line, next minute she's heading goals in in the attack. I mean, she has been absolutely incredible for Seattle. And throughout the season, she's so consistent. And, you know, not only is she good box to box, but she's able to finish. She's able to create. She's able to get into the attack and, and help the front four um, or five uh, and score goals. Yeah, and then Emily Sonnet for the Washington Spirit coming back after Olympics for the mainstay on that back line has been excellent for them. She's young, but she's experienced. Not only is she playing at this level for many years and also playing in the NWSL finals, um, but she's playing with the national team for, you know, uh, four or five years now. And that is gaining that experience and really, um, you know, she's now so solid in the back line for D.C. And, and really demanding and supporting her players and making sure that they stay compact and consistent. And so it's really exciting to see her here. Um, obviously, her impact is crucial because she's now in the final with another team. And so you know that she, she's been doing a really, really good job and she's, she's a great player for them. Yeah, and then a, a great 
great goal that we just saw from Sarah Waldmo for the Chicago Red Stars. That would be put them up 2-0 against Portland last week and to send them here to, to Louisville. And, and speaking of two center mids, we have Andy Sullivan for the Washington Spirit. And then also, again, Sarah Waldmo, who's made such an impact for this team, two of the instrumental players that have allowed their teams to, to make this run. What do you like, Al, about um, Andy Sullivan? She's she's so solid and like Ash and I were talking about this yesterday and with you how she's that engine of the team and yeah. she's she's so um, great in the middle. Not only is she just a solid defensive midfielder, but she's also one to spray balls. She can switch the point of attack. She gets the attack going. And I think that is something a, a player that that every single team needs in this league. And she's been so solid. And then now she's back with the U.S. national team, which that consistent play and that confidence that she's been showing in this league now she can go to the next level uh, and continue and hopefully today she will you know have that those sl sleeves rolled up and and really get the job done for her team yeah i, I totally agree as a, as a former midfielder myself right understanding about linking play we did just see sarah waldmo and she's going to be an instrumental piece to to this team doesn't get a lot of credit goes unnoticed more of a quiet player but she does the dirty work much like andy sullivan that you were alluding to so lots still to come we have some exciting things ahead so grab your snack. <laughs> we have the Chicago or Washington Spirits starting a lineup coming up. No changes out to this group. Yes, we talked about Trini Rodman. Who else are you looking for? I'm looking for Sana and Kelly to really hold down that back line and obviously Aubrey Bunso, goalkeeper of the year, um, to really solidify that defense because they're going to have a lot of players running in behind. Uh, but I'm, I'm also looking for Sanchez to get in once again into the attack and, and hopefully score some goals here. Yeah, I certainly think Ashley Sanchez could be an integral part making the runs out of that midfield for the Washington Spirit. And then for Chicago, we got the starting lineup. A few more changes. We are going to see Mallory Pugh back in the starting lineup. Ash, who do you like else? You know what? The partnership between uh, Tierna Davidson and Sarah Gordon are going to be huge. With the attacking power DC is going to throw at them, it's going to be really, really important for them both to stand on their head today. All right, you two. And thank you so much. It's been a blast. But before we go, predictions, final thoughts. What do we got? Al. Listen, Chicago has been here. Obviously, you know, there's a little part of me that is like, all right, it's time for them to win. But then my hometown team in D.C., I feel like they've had such a tough year. They've overcome, uh, you know, all their obstacles uh, within their club and, and they've, you know, fought through this adversity. And so I think that they're going to continue that fight through through uh, to win today and it'll be two to one D.C. Mm. Lori, happy wife, happy life. So in my house, it's definitely a D.C. house. So I'm going to have to say... DC 2-0. Yeah. All right. I like it. I like it. These what are tough you? predictions. So, listen, I am going 2-0, 2-1, a Washington Spirit. So I'm with you as well. I think there's going to be some goals, and it's going to yeah. be about execution for these two teams for sure. Absolutely. Yep. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, what a special gift this has been. Now, listen, CBS, 12 at noon, just in a couple, coming on um, – in any second now, make sure you tune in. And then if you're on Paramount Plus, you have the live option. You can join us there as well. So make sure you tune in. Thanks for joining us. Talk to you soon.